Hey Barflies, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bar Liquor Reviews Pumpkin Month. This is kind of a last minute pumpkin month because we already had the four episodes out for it, but we were given this one by a fan, so it's kind of a combination of fan package and pumpkin month, but we wanted to get it out for you before October was over. Uh, this was sent in by a fan, and Link has all the information on this guy. I do. So my buddy John was down in Texas working. Shout out to John. I'm very excited you brought this back for us. He said it's one of the best beers he's ever had in his life. Not just best pumpkin beer, best beer. beer. Exactly. So here's the scoop on this beer. It's, uh, it's from St. Arnold Brewery uh, in Texas. Uh, it said that it is 10% alcohol by volume, which is a pretty healthy beer. Um, it's made with a combination of pale two-row caramel and black malts, My Cascade favorite. and Liberty Hops. Uh, Liberty Hops are the one that gives you a little bit of a kind of a citrusy thing. Um, for a background hop flavor, pumpkin for a rich mouthfeel, molasses, brown sugar, and spiced and dry spice to make it feel like you just walked into your mom's kitchen while she was cooking 37 pumpkin pies. Mm. It is the most expensive beer we have ever brewed. A Ooh. single batch of Pumpkinator will be released around October 15th. Available in 22 ounces and on draft, and that's it. One single batch, so it's very hard to find. Um, if you are down in Texas, I know they sell this at Whole Foods, and they've got it at a couple bars. Um, and uh, if it's as good as my buddy John says it is, it's definitely worth checking out before it's all gone. Yep. I, now, I, um, this sounds like it's rarer than Woodchuck, and this is going to be coming out before Woodchuck. Uh, woodchuck is extremely rare, and you'll see Big Daddy complain about that in, in the video. Uh, this they just they said one batch of it's made one batch one batch one shot so I don't know if it's even out available outside of Texas I've been told it is not I would imagine not so without further ado let's check this guy out and see if it's really as good as your buddy says it is now he said that he sat down and had three of them at the bar and had a really hard time standing up afterwards so uh, so you know it's good so you know it's good it's got a heavy 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 Pumpkin Ooh, spice flavor to it. Yeah. Wow, it's darker than Wow, that looks almost like a stout. That's the first thought yeah. that came to my head. Definitely. And look how dark that yeah, is. Yeah, it's. You cannot see through that. No, and holding it up to the light, it's got like just a tinge. If you shake it right before the bubbles, it's got a tinge of green to it. Which wow, it smells strange. really good, dude. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mm. Well, cheers. I already know where we ended up with uh, Woodchuck. I'm not going to ruin that, so let's see how this does. Oh, that's good. Wow. I think that last sentence you read, like going into Grandma's kitchen or Mom's kitchen and having those pies is dead on. What do you think, Kylie? I'll just slide that over to you. You can leave now, Link. Dude, this is one, the, I'm, I'm, again, I'm, John, you're the man. This is this probably is, one of the best beers I've ever had in my life. Wow. I, I have no words. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Nothing was overwhelming. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You got nutmeg, you got your clover, you're getting a little cinnamon, you're getting mm -hmm. all those awesome autumn flavors. And then right in the finish, you still get that like molasses yeah. that just lingers. Yep. And the pumpkin is so delicate and it's, it's there. It's so delicate. It, it all works together just perfectly. Wow. That's an awesome, awesome beer. Shout out to St. Arnold for making a freaking killer awesome. beer. St. Arnold. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. I don't know how many reviews have been done on your uh, Pumpkinator before, but we've got it. We're all the way in New York. Bunch of Yankees digging on your beer. Dude. That, that is amazing. Time. Bravo! That was that is killer. Thank you. Oh yeah, what a great beer, Johnny. You're the man, buddy. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I, I gotta say, in my wheelhouse of my top beers, this has got to be in the top three, and so, if not like the top two. I oh. mean, I mean, you made a crazy jump there from three to two. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Going on it's going on the Extreme. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I think we can all pretty safely say that we all really enjoyed this, but oh, would you yeah. go on a 1 to 10, Kylie? 10. This is a 10. It, this, I'm going to agree. I've only, we've only given one other 10 for a beer on our show, and this is better than that. And I think it's unanimous. Yeah. I think that's absolutely unanimous. There's no 
question. Awesome. Great. Awesome beer. I'm sorry I tainted your beer with our Genesee beer pint glasses. It was meant as no offense. Um, this is amazing. If, you know, hey, if you want to sponsor us and send us all sorts of beers, just kidding, you know, but wink, not really. <laughs> this was awesome. Yeah, this but is really, fantastic. But really, if you want to send us more, we'll, we'll, we'll gladly, yeah, we'll gladly review it and keep pumping it because this is fantastic. It is. Again, this is definitely in the top three beers that I've ever had in my life. Yeah. yeah. This is amazing. Um, it's now obviously the next episode you're going to see on Pumpkin Month is Woodchuck Cider Ale, which is a completely different beast altogether. Mm -hmm. And, it and it's was, really, really good. It is phenomenal. But as far as beers go, because you can't compare the Woodchuck to a beer, two totally different animals. This, my hat's off to you. Thank you very much for making this. And you thank you, John, for bringing it. I thank know you're you, a John. fan. You're thank the man, brother. That This is awesome, John. Thank you very much for that bringing me back from Texas. Uh, yeah. If you're from Texas or if you've ever been down there and you've had the St. Arnold Pumpkinator, let us know in the comments below. And this stuff is phenomenal. Make sure you give our video a like, share, subscribe. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that fun stuff. Make sure you hit those up. We got like only a few followers on there. We got a whole bunch of you on, on YouTube, but you guys are lagging behind on the other social media. So make sure you do that and smash that subscribe button while you're at it. Thanks for tuning in, Barflies. Have a good night. Cheers. Cheers.